Hello, friends. My name is Allison, aka the Coffee Native Creative. I love everything art, planners, journals, and all the things between. I'm so glad you're here and hope you enjoy this spread as I document my birthday. This is the mini vlog portion. What you just saw was some footage from a stationery store I'm going to talk more about, then State Street, now the Art Institute, now the Bean. I do live in Chicago in case you haven't figured it out. So I decided to play tourist in my own town once again, as I've been doing for a lot of this summer. I also went roller skating. I'll tell you more about that in a little bit, but I did go roller skating, which was so fun. I love roller skating. And last but not least, I played Animal Crossing. <laughs> I love Animal Crossing. It's the first time that I had one of the Animal Crossing birthday parties. So in this particular spread, it's a little bit longer than my normal ideal video length. And it's also quite sped up because this journaling session was a long one. It really was. I wanted to take my time. I really wanted to enjoy it because these were two very important days in my life. This is documenting June 20th and June 21st. And on the 20th, for those of you in the United States, it might sound familiar because it was Father's Day. And on the 21st, it was my birthday. So these two days were important. I wanted to spend a lot of time um, having fun with the journaling spread, hence sort of the longer session. <laughs> but what you just saw me do was turn a gift bag into a little flap. And then you just saw me basically show off my new watercolor. So one of the things I bought myself for my birthday was some handmade, really cool, shimmery, watercolors by an Etsy seller called Tiny Cactus. They were definitely not cheap, but I just really wanted to treat myself. And so I'm going to use these for the first time in this spread. Actually, I'm going to use them right now. <laughs> so I just grab some water and activate that green blue color. Um, and it's kind of hard to see. It doesn't translate as well on camera, to be honest with you, but it's really pretty. It's kind of like a mica color and you know, like the mica powders you can buy, like a very, very fine mica powder turned into a watercolor. Um, I did end up using, as you can see, some coral, um, Crayola watercolor, just like the very cheap kind to give it a little bit more pigment, which it's really pretty, honestly. And it looks really cool in the light, like when you turn it back and forth, sort of like iridescent-y. So that was really fun to use. But before that, I cut out some pictures of the plants that you see me putting on right now. These are plants that we purchased on this day. Uh, we went to Lowe's <laughs> in true Father's Day fashion. <laughs> but I got some plants because I had really been wanting to buy some plants. And then what I also cut out were these little drawings my daughter made um, with our names, Alice and John Madeline. And if any of you have little kids, you know that many of them like Among Us. So if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But those are us as little Among Us characters, which I thought was so cute. <laughs> and then I cut out a bunch of photos that I had printed. I print my photos on clear matte label paper, which I can put the link down below because many people have asked me about it. I really love printing on it. It's definitely not cheap, um, but I think it turns out great. I use a Brother printer. Um which I can also link below or just let me know if you want to know because I'm really pleased with the quality. Um, and actually recently I printed on some just st sticker paper, you know, and I really didn't like it as much. So anyways, I'm, I've kind of spoiled myself with this clear matte label paper with my printer action. Anyways, so I used a little um, envelope where somebody had written, one of my friends had written Happy Birthday Allison to um, mark the day up at the top with that yellow. And then I looked through some of my um, projects started and not finished. <laughs> and that composition book that you saw me flip through earlier was one of those. And so I just decided to use it. I flipped through and found a sheet of paper that I had watercolored on or painted on in the past in order to create yet another tip in slash flap. So that's what you saw me um, just stick down. Now I'm taking some washi tape, which you're going to see me use this washi tape throughout the spread. This washi tape was purchased on my birthday. <laughs> One of my favorite parts of the day was a stationery store. So actually, well, let me just tell you what this is first. And then I'm just going to tell you about my day and let you watch as I talk about the day, if that's 
cool with you. <laughs> um, this picture is actually of a Bob Ross doll. <laughs> My daughter um, just thought I would love it, which of course I did. So I am now the proud owner of a Bob Ross, Ross Barbie doll like figurine. <laughs> I love it. So of course I had to document that. Um, and actually this principle that you see me placing right now is from Pocket Journal Pam, her most recent, i.e. July principles. Um, so let me tell you about my day. I started off in the morning. I woke up. It was a Monday, my birthday. <laughs> it was a morning or the morning was a bit of a morning. What do I mean by that? My Both my husband and my daughter were not in a good mood. It was my daughter's last Monday of school ever. Well, until, you know, August. And she was in a really bad mood. And then my husband was really stressed out from work. And I had taken the day off of my work because I was just planning to spend the day by myself. And for a minute, I thought to myself, you know what? I'm not even going to go. I'm just going to stay home. This is stressful. The weather didn't look great. I was like, I should just relax. Code for do nothing. But I decided, no, no, this is your birthday. Don't take on the energy of the other people in your household and get going, leave the house and, and do what you want to do. So that's exactly what I did. I got ready and I got out of the house. And the, my first stop going downtown was at this new coffee shop I had never tried before called Moho Coffee. It's either Mojo or Moho. Um, but it's actually a New Zealand-based coffee company where they have like chains all over the world. And I didn't even know they had one in Chicago, but the glory that is Google helped me learn that it was right in a part of downtown that I was very familiar with. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go there first and then see what where life takes me next. And actually, you can see me cutting out the picture of the coffee right now. Oh my gosh, this coffee was so good. The service was so good. It just really put me in a happy mood. Um, seriously, so good. The, the coffee was maybe one of the best coffees I've ever had. It was so good. And then I had an avocado toast. Oh, delicious. So my jam. So then after that, I went to this um, place called Atlas Stationers. And actually, you can see the picture of it to the right of the page. You can kind of see the sign. But basically, it's this stationery store in Chicago, which I've ordered from online. Uh, actually, if you saw a previous video where I talk about my Chicago fire pen that I love, it's from there. But I had never actually been to the store because they have hours where they close pretty early and I've just, I've never really made it a priority. So anyway, I decided to go in there. And of course, I loved it. You saw some of that in the video. I was like a kid in a candy store. I bought not too much. I was reasonable, but I did buy, you know, myself some, some treats, which was really, really fun. And then... I decided to get more coffee. <laughs> so then I went to Big Shoulders Coffee, which is another coffee shop in Chicago. But this one is obviously Chicago themed. And I got a, I don't remember what I got. I think I got a latte or a cappuccino, something like that. And, or no, I got a Cortado. And it was pretty good. Not quite as good as Mo Joe's, but still very, very good. And then I went to the Art Institute. So I'm a member of the Art Institute. I love art. I majored in art history. And the Obama portraits had just opened at the Art Institute. So I decided to go see those. And it was awesome. It was really, really a great time at the Art Institute. Then I went to the Bean and hung out at the Bean, which is a Chicago landmark. And then I went to the Nutella Cafe, which also I had never been to. I got yet another coffee drink. And by this point, I was completely over caffeinated. <laughs> and then I had, I went home. After getting home, that is when I played some Animal Crossing, just chilled out while my husband finished work. And then because I truly, truly wanted to and had been meaning to do it for a very long time, I roller skated on the ribbon. So in Chicago, there's this thing called the ribbon. And during the winter, it is for ice skating. And during the summer, you can skate on it or little kids can, you know, do scooters on it. And there's a climbing wall in the middle. It's right like downtown. So we packed up the car. My husband drove downtown. 
Um, and I went roller skating and it was so fun, but it's kind of funny because I ran into a friend slash colleague and he was like, what are you doing here? And I'm like, I'm going to go roller skating. He's like, you are? And I'm like, yes, <laughs> I used to do roller derby. So it's not like I can't skate, but I really haven't like it's not something I do all the time and I feel kind of silly doing it, you know, especially in public, especially around people like who know me, but aren't like my immediate family. <laughs> but anyways, it was really fun to see him. And I mean, uh, you know, who knows what he really thought, but that, that kind of cracked me up that of course, when I'm about to like do something that might be mildly embarrassing, I run into someone, especially someone like, from work. <laughs> Although I would call him probably definitely more on the friend side than the colleague side. Anyways, doesn't matter. <laughs> um, so as you can see, my journaling spread has turned into a very epic homage to the <laughs> um, day that I just told you about. Oh, and we finished up the day by going to a Michicana store, like a, it's basically like um, Hispanic snacks. And I got a bunch of fruit and it was on the whole, one of the most amazing days I'd had in a really long time. So as you can see, my journal is like, I needed to cram a lot of stuff in here. So I think I was able to do it. I'm proud of it. But it took a long time. It took a lot of patience. And I hope it translates in video because it kind of looks like a crazy mess. But <laughs> do you like it? Do you understand the vibe of the day? <laughs> Um, then I'm using my watercolor. So now back to my pages. I'm using my watercolor, this time that purpley color of the tiny cactus um, watercolors to, again, bring in that iridescent. And now I'm going back to Father's Day. So Father's Day was also pretty great. Much more chill, though. My husband is somebody who really likes to just, you know, keep it low key. He's definitely a low key person. And so I asked him, what do you want to do for Father's Day? And he was like, I really just don't want to do anything. I just want to like watch soccer games and get some food and chill. And I was like, sounds good. So that's what we did. We did go to Lowe's and get some plants and had some fun with that. But other than that, it wasn't like anything massively epic. Um, so it was interesting to try to document it because the other thing is my husband does not love taking pictures, which is the polar opposite of me. I love taking pictures. I would probably take pictures constantly if I could. So <laughs> I didn't have much. Anyways, I was happy with how the Among Us little cartoons came out. And now I'm doing stickers to sort of fill it in. We got pancakes in the morning and basically just ate all day for Father's Day. I was definitely not a, a low calorie couple days, but that is okay. Now I'm just putting the finishing touches on. I'm using a um, paint pen to sort of again add some iridescent dots around the Father's Day page and then I'm just journaling a little bit about how grateful I am for my husband. Now I'm using some stickers to just sort of bring the whole thing together and last but not least I'm taking my Pipstick stickers and putting just a few more finishing touches like a zebra and now you're going to see me put some roller skating animals these are stickers that I have been hoarding for some time but seemed really well suited for this crazy day of roller skating and cartoon parties and too much coffee and great art and just stationary and oh so much goodness so that was my birthday really really great I hope you enjoyed watching this spread, listening to my random story. I definitely don't normally do all this kind of stuff on my birthday, but this felt like a special one, especially coming off of 2020. So I really, really had a great time and I really loved documenting it too. So I hope you enjoyed watching me. Do you like it? What are you doing for your birthday or celebrations? I also just want to thank you so much for being here, for watching. I really appreciate all of you. I hope you have a great day. See you next time.